Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of RGU Talk. I'm Megan and I am joined here with Arthur, who is a Gray student. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're wanting to cover a topic that I'm sure, if you're listening to this, that you might be a little bit anxious about, and that is the interview. So we're here to put you at ease. Right, Arthur? Yeah, yeah. It's all going to be fine, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the reason we have Arthur here is because they did a um, interview to get into the Gray School of Art. Um, do you want to talk maybe a little bit about your course and just just introduce yourself a bit further? So I am studying first year contemporary art over at Gray's. It's a really great course. We basically get to do whatever we want within the whole school, any department, free reign, any tutor, subject. We just, we just get to have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it's a good course. It is. I would highly recommend it if you're an artsy person. So you just finished your first semester of yeah. your first year. How'd that go? I think it went really well. Um, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. It was mainly just like put everything you've done on your desk and get out of the school so that we could mark it. And I was like, cool, that's me done, I guess. Sorted, I've survived. Perfect. First semester, done and dusted. Your interview might seem like a little bit of a distant memory. Um, can you tell us a little bit what you remember about that process? I remember um, absolutely having no clue what's going to happen. I was so scared that morning. And like Grace is like a two and a half hour drive from where I originally come from. So the whole way in the car, I was like, oh, I'm going to be sick, mom, pull over. <laughs> and I get into it and we're like sat at the tables inside the little cafe in Grays and um, I just started like chatting to people next to me and I'm like oh what course did you apply to and just like getting to know them and getting like a feel of the environment around me and then actually getting into the interview and it was just like lay everything out that you've got and we'll come round and we'll just have a big chat about it and it was a lot less formal than I thought it would be. I went to like other interviews for other schools and they've been very formal and bit scary bit intimidating um but coming to grades it was so relaxed I felt like I was at home already so more of an informal chat less yeah, of a test yeah. like people might assume it is yeah people always think that they're going to try and trip you up about stuff but it was more about them actually wanting to get to know your work and who you are as a person I was going to say I think that at grades that actually is kind of the more important thing yeah. it's like we want to see <laughs> we want to see what you can do like yeah, I think it's like it's one of the, the nicest places I've ever been. It's so friendly. Everyone wants you to do your best. There's like even even your tutors, they'll always be like, yeah, like I absolutely love what you're doing. Like everyone's so supportive. That's really cool. Do you remember? So your the preparation you had to do to get ready for the interview. What what did you have to do? So I was doing advanced art already. So um, advanced art was mainly just like a, por uh, a portfolio year. I sort of just like I, it was about half my portfolio because it was about halfway through the year so I'd gotten that all sorted put it in my big portfolio case um yeah and it was just like all the work that I had done so far just like a big range of everything um and my art teacher was very much like yeah just like take everything even if you don't think it's good take it anyway because it still shows that you're willing to try something art's also so subjective yeah, yeah, you so, might not yeah. think it's good for yeah. all for all you know whoever is looking at your work might think it's absolutely brilliant yeah, you don't know so it was mainly just like getting everything sorted like everything that I'd done putting in a big portfolio case and just bringing it up so then when it came time to showcase your portfolio what did what did you have to do so they got us to um, take everything out of their cases and just like lie it in an order that sort of made sense to us on the table. So I had everything piled up. I had done like a massive canvas, like the size of like a, that's like a good wall. <laughs> size of a good wall. Yeah. So I um, I had that like all laid out on the table. I had um, a photography portfolio as well, just because I was doing contemporary art. So it's just like a bit of everything. Um, so yeah, I just I just had everything laid out for them to come over and have we sift through it. and they'll look through it and then they'll like pick out certain things and they'll be like, Oh, what's this? What's 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 up with this? And I'll be like, Oh, that's my thing that I made. <laughs> so yeah, they very much they'll like pick things out so that you're not like forced on the spot to talk about things. They'll sort of start a conversation with you. No, that sounds pretty good. And then is for the actual kind of like interview process. Is it, so, sorry, did you say was it in a group or was it one-on-ones with one so of the So it's one-on-one. So um, the way that they do it, there is three interviewers and then like three candidates in a room at a time. 
So we all had separate desks and we'd all have about like six or seven minutes with each interviewer. So they'd go around the three of us. So it would be one on one, but then you could sort of like still hear conversations going on behind. So not in a super scary silent room. No, no, it wasn't just like the two of you standing there in like in a total empty room with just your work. Like it was, there was other things going on. Like it was a bit of an environment, and it, I think that's more relaxing as well instead of just me standing with another person and being like, "Ooh, I don't really know what to say." Like I can hear other people talking, and it's just it's a bit calmer. Yeah, no, I think it's important for the prospective students to realize that the people interviewing really want you to succeed they're not they're not wanting you to fail yeah they really want to see what you're good at and they really want to hype you up for everything that you're good at as well yeah do you remember how how did you feel kind of when those one-to-one interviews are coming because I I reckon that's kind of one of the most nerve-wracking parts it's something I think young people never have to deal with up until now like I had never had a like a proper one-to-one interview before and then coming in for my interviews I was like, oh, I absolutely have no clue what to do. I don't know how to act in these situations. I don't know how to speak to other people. And then actually coming into them and being like, oh, this is actually a lot more relaxed than I thought it would be. And just like having a conversation with someone else. And I, I think it helps as well because I'm passionate about my work. So I find it easier to talk about. As an art student, that's all they're looking for really yeah. is passion. Yeah. Yeah. So if you like your work and you're proud of it, that's going to showcase through whatever you're saying. Yeah, and they definitely, they get that energy as well. Like, if you are proud of what you do and you're able to talk about it, that's, like, a really good thumbs up for them. Like, they really do like that. So with the one-on-one interview bit, um, obviously you have to speak about your passion for art and stuff like that, but are there any any kind of tips you'd have on just regular interview skills, how, how you should act in that scenario? I think eye contact's definitely a main one. They want to definitely, like, speak to you. They don't want to just be chatting nonsense or whatever. Like, yeah, eye contact is a big one. That's something that I still struggle with. So being in an interview situation, I was like, oh, I really don't like doing this. But, yeah, that's definitely something. Being confident in yourself is a big thing as well. Going in there with the attitude that you're going to do great and that everything's going to be fine, that is definitely a big one as well. Yeah. If you could go back in time and redo the interview, is there anything you'd do differently or do you think you smashed it first go? <laughs> um, I honestly think I'd wear something more comfortable. I was like so dressed up for it and I was like, yeah, like this is like not stuff that I would ever wear. Like I was like proper like business attire and then going in there, I was like, this is an art school. Like I should really just be myself. Showcase your personality. Yeah, like, showcase who I am because they're not really gonna care about me like dressed up to the nines. They just want to see me for who I am. I think that's a really good, really, really good point. The last thing you want is when you're chatting with someone who you're maybe already a little bit nervous to be fidgeting with your collar, uncomfortable, sweating. No, that's really good. Well, thank you for sharing your experience. If we could just end, if let me know three tips you'd have for anyone who's coming in to do their interview at Grays. Get posters or handouts or leaflets from different exhibitions and stalls and that that you've been to. They're very big on your own personal development. So getting like a folder, things like that, doing little write-ups for galleries that you've gone to, that definitely really helps. That's really cool. I don't actually think people would think to do no, that. No, I didn't even think about doing that either. It's something that's not really spoken about until you actually come to Grey's, but they are really big on you visiting exhibitions, galleries, spaces where people are making art and doing artistic things. No, that's good. Everyone listening. Yeah. Showcase yeah. With that not you're just not into your own art, but you're into other people's as well. That's cool. Definitely, yeah. Any other tips? Be your best self. Just put yourself out there and don't be shy. Don't hold back because they are wanting to learn about everything that you're doing. So, yeah. Be you. Be true to yourself. Yeah. Be passionate. Yeah. No, that's perfect. I think, I think you've said it all. Well, to everyone listening, best of luck with your interviews. Do not be nervous. Take a page from Arthur's book. <laughs> Just yeah. go in and you'll smash it. If you have any questions, you can let us know by a direct message on Instagram or send us a message on Facebook. Um, We will get back to you and yeah, best of luck. Bye. Thanks, Arthur.